Smile and learn. Hi, friends. Today on my Space Math channel, we're going to learn what prime numbers and composite numbers are. We'll start with prime numbers. Prime numbers are whole numbers that can only be divided by one and themselves. This means that they only have two divisors. In other words, we get an exact division when we divide a prime number by itself or by the number one. Remember that a number is divisible by another only if we get an exact division, which means the remainder is zero. Let's try this with the number 5. If we do 5 divided by 1, it equals 5. And now, if we do 5 divided by 5, it equals 1. But, can we divide the number 5 by a different number and get an exact division? No! This is why the number 5 is a prime number because it only has two divisors, one and itself. Let's do another example. Now we will see if the number 11 is a prime number or not. First, let's find the divisors of 11 to check and see if it is a prime number. If we do 11 divided by 2, we get 5 remainder 1. This is not an exact division, so the number 11 does not have the number 2 as a divisor. Now we have to check if we get an exact division when we divide 11 by all the possible numbers. By 3, by 4, by 5, by 6, all the way up to 10. So, 11 is a prime number because its divisors are only one and itself. 11! Here is a table with the first few prime numbers. Let's take a look at it. Now let's have a look at what composite numbers are. Unlike prime numbers, composite numbers have more than two divisors. Let's check this definition using number 4 as an example. If we divide the number 4 by 1, we get 4 remainder 0 as the result. Now let's divide the number 4 by 4. We get 1 remainder 0 as the result. Now we have two divisors, but does the number 4 have more divisors? Hmm. Let's try doing 4 divided by 2. Very good! Here we get 2 remainder 0, which is an exact division, so the number 2 is also a divisor of 4. We can see that the number 4 has 1, 2, and 4 as its divisors. For this reason, it is a composite number, as it has more than 2 divisors. We can know a number is prime by dividing it by other smaller prime numbers. It's prime if the result isn't an exact division or there is a remainder. We should check this by dividing the number by prime numbers smaller than it until we get a quotient that is less than the divisor. When we need to check if a larger number is prime or not, it will help us a lot to know the divisibility criteria. Perhaps you can review them after watching this video. Now it's your turn. Let's see if you have understood everything correctly. Is the number 17 a prime number or a composite number? Correct! It is a prime number! The number 17 has only two divisors, itself, 17, and also the number 1. 
When we divide it by the smaller prime numbers, we do not get zero as a remainder in any of them. Perfect. Let's move on to the next task. Is the number 9 a prime number or a composite number? Very good! The number 9 is a composite number because it has more than two divisors. Let's see what they are. The number 1, the number 3, and the number 9. Before I go, I want to tell you two interesting facts, although some of you may already know them. First, the number 1 is not a prime number since it only has one divisor, the number 1. Second, the number 2 is the only prime number that is even. Interesting, right? And finally, I want to remind you of one last rule. As we can see in these examples, every whole number has the number 1 and itself as divisors, although they can have more if they are composite numbers. It is important to remember this rule when you're looking for the divisors of a number, because sometimes we forget about these two divisors. And that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. See you soon, friends! We've learned so much in just one video. Did you know there are many more videos? Imagine how much you could learn. Subscribe to the Smile and Learn educational channel to learn and have fun at the same time.